Jamji is a brand that is just as functional on the run as it is on the road. And this is their summer collection. Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Kopuzi and I'm a non-elite runner who has been using Janji products for several years now and I've been a big fan of what they're doing, not only in terms of the apparel and the products they're creating, but also from the corporate consciousness side. They are dedicated to clean water projects around the world and 2% of all their proceeds go to funding clean water projects. As well, they also work on making sure that their processes for creating this apparel can be as friendly to the environment as possible and they're always looking for ways to be less impactful on the environment as they create the apparel that we're running in. Now, before I go into the summer collection, I do wanna go over some disclosures. All the clothes that you're seeing today were provided by Janji for the purpose of review. However, they're not paying me to make this video or to use these clothes, and they're not gonna get a chance to preview any of my footage or my thoughts before you guys get a chance to see this video on YouTube. So with that disclosure out of the way, let's talk about the summer collection from Janji. First, let's start with some of the shorts. So there's basically the AFO shorts and then there's the half tights. And first, let's start with the AFO shorts. I have them in three different lengths and it's not just a matter of length and how long you want the short. With the different lengths, you get different kind of features and pockets. Let's start with the AFO seven inch. This is the longest of their shorts. These pants are unique because I don't think I've seen from Janji before a pant with a longer, more boxer style liner. So it's kind of that two in one concept, but this material is very comfortable on the skin and a lot thinner. So it's not gonna be so compressive and not gonna be so hot. But the nice thing about it is there's still space on each side for a pocket and I was able to fit my regular size iPhone in there with the case without any problem. And also on the other side, you could easily slide in like the key card and the keys that I have to get into my building or if you're traveling, you could easily put in like a credit card and like your hotel key card on one side and have the phone in on the other. In addition to that, there's also zipper pockets on each side. And these are more of like a traditional pocket, not a runner's pocket, but more like kind of like the side pockets you might have on a regular pair of shorts. So I feel like something at this seven inch length is my favorite for a pair of shorts that I might run in, but also might want to live in later in the day without having to change any of my shorts. So when I'm traveling in the summertime, a seven inch short is usually my favorite length because it has that versatility. I'm not gonna feel like I wore my running shorts somewhere else. I just feel like I have really functional shorts on. So having those regular pockets, I think is really useful. The only downside to these pants, I took them about for a 10 mile run and while I was running easy, I had absolutely no problems with the, the shorts at all. They were super comfortable and very functional. But if you are gonna take them for a workout, one of the things I noticed was that when I had my phone in like the side pocket that kind of like hugs your leg, uh, because the liner material is so thin and comfortable and stretchy, it wasn't compressive like enough. And so when I wanted to pick up the pace, I had some strides in the middle of my easy run. Then I felt like the phone kind of like it wasn't sliding in and out of the pocket. The pocket itself was kind of moving and that felt a little bit awkward. So not really a pant I would wear for a workout, but for a pant that I would definitely wear for just general summertime comfort. Uh, the color's also really fantastic for the summer. Uh, and also for like easy runs, if I'm running to go explore a new city, these are gonna be some fantastic pants to wear because the pockets work out really so well. All right, we're gonna keep getting shorter. Now we're moving from a seven inch to a five inch. This is the AFO five inch short. I believe this is pretty much unchanged if you've run in the AFO short in the past. You've got the same really comfortable mesh waistband that's nice and stretchy. And there's two pockets on here. There is a key pocket on kind of the inner part of the lining. So this is the pant. And then on the inside, you have a little spot for your key. And there's even a little bit of a, like a loop if you wanna attach your key to your pants and then there is a, a pocket in the back now this back zipper pocket isn't quite big enough to fit my phone comfortably inside i could 
kind of like really jam it in there, but then it gets a little bit uncomfortable. And these pants are so light that having the phone in the back pocket isn't always the most comfortable thing to do. So if it's a situation where you have to bring your phone with you on the run, the AFO five inch short probably wouldn't be my first choice, but if you can go phone free and you just need to put in say like a credit card and a hotel key card or the key card and regular set of keys in the back, maybe put in a gel or two, then that's exactly the right size for this pocket. I really enjoy this particular print. It's called Batik C. I love this pattern, not only because I think the pattern and the art is beautiful, but I also enjoy the fact that when you start sweating in it, it doesn't look like you peed your pants. And so for me, normally I'm a black shorts or a dark gray shorts kind of guy. So that way, no matter how much I sweat, it's not really like looking like I peed myself. With these, the seven inch shorts, you know, I definitely had a little bit of that because of the color of the, the material uh, with the Batik C with this print pattern. Didn't have any of that at all. It was actually quite fantastic to wear for my run. All right, now let's get even shorter still. We went from seven inch to five inch. Now we're going to four inch and not only a four inch, but a four inch with a split to it. So it's a four inch split short. It feels like a much shorter than a four inch split short because of that split. So not only is the material change as you get to this four inch, um, and you can kind of see through it here that it's almost like a see-through type of material with this mesh. Uh, and it's very, very light, uh, wicks a lot of the moisture away really, really nicely. But the main other feature is the amount of pockets. And so there are five pockets in these shorts uh, and they kind of go all the way around the, the waistband. And so you've got like a utility belt of pockets. So you've got two wider pockets up in the front. Uh, and this is gonna be good for your bigger gels or something that's gonna be a little bit larger. There's also a little loop in here with a provided little S carabiner. So if you wanted to loop your keys in there, they would fit in there really nicely. Then on the back, there is one big long pocket that has a little bit of a seam in here so it doesn't get too floppy and things don't pop out, but it's a much longer pocket. So that is gonna be your roomiest pocket in the back. That's where I put the heaviest things that you might be carrying. And then kind of on your flanks, on your underneath your kidneys, you have two smaller pockets um, right here that kind of uh, go on each side of that wider big pocket. Now this pocket, these pockets on the side, these flank pockets, they are not quite big enough for most of my gels. I think if you're rocking goose or hammer nutrition gels, ones that are like that smaller size, those might fit in there, but that also might be a really good place to put something like the case to your earbuds, if that's something you need to run with, or your trash, you could stash in those smaller pockets as well. So you got uh, pockets all around your waist and in a variety of sizes, so you should be able to carry everything that you need. I took these pants out for a 20 mile run and uh, they just did absolutely fantastic. I didn't need to use all the pockets in my testing of the shorts because I ran that day uh, with a full hydration vest, uh, but in terms of the functionality of the split short, very breezy, very comfortable, um, a little bit more revealing than I'm used to on a normal run. Uh, but as the summer months are gonna get hotter, this is a pair of shorts that I'm sure is going to get a lot of use. Now let's talk about what is probably my favorite of the John G pants that I got for this summer, and that's gonna be the groundwork half tight. And now this is an updated version of the half tight that I ran in, I think last year. The only problem that I had with it last year was that the material felt like it was a little bit hot. It felt like there was a little bit too much there. It felt like not so much that it was too compressive, but it just felt like a little bit warm and they fixed it this year. It definitely feels a lot cooler. I can already tell that it's gonna be a much better performing half tight in the summertime because of the change up in the materials. And I feel like they've made some slight changes to the pockets. Now, each side has two different pockets, so it's easy to kind of separate things on the run, which makes it then easier to find things on the run as well. And it feels like they're using a thinner mesh material for these pockets so again just less material overall that's covering your legs also on the back there is one bigger pocket and again there's a seam on top to prevent things from popping out but it's a nice long 
one pocket back here. So you're getting a total of five pockets in these half tights. So pretty much anything that you want to carry, you're going to be able to carry. There's also a drawstring on these half tights as there were drawstrings on all the pants that we talked about today. Now let's talk about some of the t-shirts. And so this is the one that I think I probably enjoy the most. This is their repeat merino. It is super soft, very comfortable, about 47% merino wool and 38% 37.5 material, which is a special kind of textile that is designed to help regulate temperatures really well. Uh, and then there's also a bit of nylon in it to round out the materials that are in this shirt. And the color on this is just very rich and inviting. It's not just like a solid kind of like slab of color. There's a little bit of kind of like a heathered nature to it. Uh, so it makes it a, have a little bit more depth and I absolutely love wearing this shirt. This is a shirt that I also wore for that 20 mile run over the weekend underneath my hydration vest. And it was very comfortable to wear for all the miles. Uh, it feels very soft on the skin. I've also been just kind of wearing this shirt around casually because uh, again, I just enjoy the fit and the feel of it on the skin. That extra bit of merino that's in there makes it just feel that much more kind of plush. All the shirts from Ajanji this year seem to have a little bit of a hang tag on it. So if you are in a travel situation after you've gone and run in the shirt, uh, you could do a quick hand wash in your hotel room and then you got this little hang tag on there so that it can air dry a little bit quicker so that way you have a fresh shirt again the next time you want to go reach for it. Next, let's look at some Helio tees from John G. There's two of them here. I have a tank and a t-shirt. Now these are also really comfortable, but these are probably more of like a tech tee type of material. There's 100% polyester in these shirts and they all have the high Q fresh treatment on it, which is going to help with odor control. And also in the long term, it's supposed to help with running clothes and athletic wear from getting that perma stink that sometimes can happen to some of our clothes. That's not going to be happening with these pieces right here. If you look at it, it kind of reminds me of winter fleece running material in terms of like if you look at the material really closely, it looks like there's kind of a grid in here. And I'm thinking that this is going to help with a lot of heat regulation, letting a lot of that body heat temperature, that humidity, that moisture get out of the shirt really quickly. And now while it does feel a little bit more like a tech tee, uh, it's also another shirt that I feel like can get a lot of double use as a shirt that you're gonna run in, but also a shirt that you might wear the rest of the day as well. Now last, let's take a look at the tank top. It's the same fabric, has the same properties as the t-shirt, but it just has it in a singlet form. I've been enjoying running in this one. I paired this with the groundwork half tight for a workout and I felt like that was a really good pairing. I enjoyed having it. It's not quite as snug as a lot of like the racing singlets that I might wear, but certainly for something that I'm gonna wear for a workout, this feels fantastic on the skin and it's cut still in a very athletic way. So it's not gonna be super billowy and feeling like, you know, it's coming off your shoulder or anything as you're going for a run. So the fit is on point. Definitely appreciate the materials as well. And again, if it's something where you're going somewhere hot and tank tops are something that you can wear, this is certainly one that's comfortable enough, but also fits me well enough that I feel like I can do that as well. So double use from pretty much everything here, maybe not the four inch split short, but and maybe not the half tights, but everything else certainly can do double duty as both workout apparel and also just everyday casual athleisure type of travel apparel. I definitely think that this is going to fit really well. Another thing that I like about it is even though some of the colors are a little bit more bold than I'm used to, the logos and the branding are very minimal with Janji apparel. And so that makes it really easy to layer and mix and match with whatever else I might be wearing while I'm traveling. So it makes it again, really easy to use in multiple kinds of ways. Uh, I think Janji does a really good job of having a distinctive design and a distinctive look while also not being kind of like in your face with a giant logo splashed across the chest. And so uh, I, I really appreciate what John G is doing uh, in terms of some of the new products that they have for summer 22 and the tweaks and the improvements that they made to some of their existing lineup. If you have any other questions about John G apparel, 
please feel free to put them in the comments down below or better yet stop by the live stream that I do Monday through Friday right here on YouTube over on my Kofuzi Run Club channel. I'd love to see you guys in the chat. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of the video. Hopefully you guys are staying safe out there on your runs and I will see you in the next one. Yo, what's going on?